done? Okay, it's my turn. Oh good grief, I don't think this tree is worth it. <laughs> but let's play with the monsters. Okay, I've changed my mind. I definitely want to kill them. Got him! Yes, 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 I got him. Well, good morning. We're back in Middle Earth, and we are back with Thormund the Dwarf. And he is going to start doing the Breland Deeds. And we're starting here with this crest, which is... Well, you see Beggar's Alley here, and you run up the stairs here, and you grab this ancient crest... And it starts the deed, the history of the Dunedain. So, let's get on a horse. We have discovered an ancient crest of the Dunedain. Alright, so, now that we've done that, we'll head out. Where are we? This is the mud gate. So, so far we have done all of Erdloan and all of Shire, except for the Reputation, which we did do the quest for, so if we get any Reputation items for the Shire in the Barrow Downs, which you will get some of those, you will be able to use them to get Reputation, because if you get Kendrit, that's another... From, from Stranger to Kindred is another 50 Lotro points. Might help if I was paying attention to where I was going. Alright, so up oh, there it is. So up here, we have some ruins with a bunch of bears. And we might get attacked by one. That's okay. But we want this here. And we have discovered an ancient Dunedain inscription on a pedestal. Alright, so let's get back on our horse. And we will head out to Combe. And we're going to go past Combe into the woods there. Actually, we're going to hit our chat first. Because there are explorations in both of those places. So, here we are in Combe. And there are two paths you could take. We'll take that stable. How can I Thank be you. of service? If you go that way, you're going into the comb force. If you go up this way, you're headed towards our chat. Or our cat. However you pronounce it. So this is the comb north gate. And... There's still some things here we can aggro. Not all of them. Some of them. New deed, ruins of the Bre Breland, and that's Brown's Folly. Now we have a boar following us. Isn't that nice? Do not underestimate boar. Not in the game and not in real life because they are some mean animals. We're talking about animals who will gore you just as soon as look at you. So, 
come here. And this is the Black Wolf's Roost. And another one of our Dunedain sites. You have discovered the ancient Dunedain Cairn. Oh, and we can kill some brigands while we're here. Oh, we might as well do that too. No, nope. no, if are wolves a deed here? So, ruins of Breland, history of the Dunedain. No, but brigands are. So we don't need the wolves, but brigands. We can get a few brigands in here. We'll be going other places with brigands too. So we don't need to kill a whole lot of brigands here. There's a bunch of sheep in here. Bah. Now we only need 30 brigands for the first one and... 60 for the second one, so it's going to be pretty easy. That's funny. He doesn't aggro, but because the wolf does, he did. Okay. Easy peasy. Alright, let's head back to home and go out that way. Hey, look at you, Spec. We already got six brigands. Look, we're at the Cone Lumber Camp. We're going to head this way. We'll let that uh, <laughs> wolf chase us for a while. There's some spiders in here. We could kill a few if we wanted to. Not totally necessary. More wolves. There's a wolf den here. Well, we might as well start killing some more brigands on the way. have lots of brigands in here. They're scattered about in little camps. But we're headed to these ruins where we'll have some brigands and of course another exploration. Somewhere around here is a, a warg that likes to kill low-level players. Just saying. So this is Blackwold Headquarters. And... As you can see, Blackwold Headquarters was one of the spots we needed. And while we're here, we'll kill a few brigands. Don't have to kill all of them here, because there will be other places, another place we go with brigands. But, might as well kill some here. They're easy. Now, either I had some horrendous lag just there, or somebody's been here before me to kill stuff. 
and I just caught the respawn. And I think it's probably somebody's been here, because a couple places that should have brigands dead. Okay. Yeah, see, there should have been... Yep, yeah, there's uh, somebody right there. Well, plenty of brigands to go around. Alright, so back the way we came. And we just completed the first part of Brigand Slayer. So, with five low throw points, that quick and easy. And we'll go ahead and plot the second part of that. So we are at six of sixty. Like I said, even with this other person here, but there were plenty of them to go around. And they're level 120, so that means that they are here for the deed and the Lotro points and nothing else. Okay. There's one another one around here somewhere. Oh, he's down there. That's right. There's this guy down here fishing. I'm sorry, dude. Your fishing trip's over. Alright, so we are almost halfway done with the advanced already. We'll see if we can't snag a couple more on the way out. But 
Looks like we definitely can. We just got the notice that the uh, treasure hunt's going on. Kind of a fun, relaxing thing. It's a little grindy. Good place to get a goat. Or for a chance of getting a goat. Get some emotes. And those are actually account bound now. So if you get it on a character and you already have it for that character, you can give it to another one. Pretty handy. And you know what? We are almost done with this. So we might as well try to finish it out. Even though we do have to go into another brigand spot and kill some anyway. Now, I want to do this real quick. There. So we could switch from strength to precision if we want to. We'll just leave it on strength. We'll go ahead and head out. We might pick up a couple on the way back. And like I said, we have another place with brigands to go. So it's not the last time we're going to see them. Now. The next place we need to go. Is... The swamp. Wow, we only have two left. I might as well get them. I wasn't planning on it, but let's do it. That one won't attack you unless you have the quest and talk to him. Alright, so actually we have finished Brigand Slayer Advanced. Pretty handy. It means we're up to 15 low turret points already. Now we want to head to the swamp. We are here. Midwater Mar Marsh is that way. Wow, we're in the Weather Hills? For real? Okay. Eh, get on my way. Yeah, we are so... Oh, we're totally in the Weather Hills. Um, we don't want to mess with that orc. 
He's big and purple. Wow. Okay. Did not realize we were that close. <laughs> it's not really the way we want it to go. Okay. We'd like the less insane side of the swamp, please. Couple things we want to kill out here. The dog wasn't one of them. The fox is definitely not one of them. So here we want spiders and sneakers. And we want harvest flies. Now, my best suggestion for this area is, you remember that deed accelerator tome that you should have gotten out of one of your starter boxes once you have at least done the first part of these you're going to want to hit that and then start doing the advanced version especially for the sickle flies which are usually a little difficult to find but unfortunately, have been tamed, toned, toned down to only 20 and 40 to complete the deeds. <laughs> you see that? He had an arrow sticking out of him. That's so funny. We also have some places to explore here. There's a couple goblin spots we want to explore. There's a couple more of those History of the Dunedain items here, too. So. You will find more than enough spiders out here. There are lower level spiders to kill for the deed. But there's so many spiders here and you have to be out here anyway for the flies and sneakers that you might as well just get it all done at once. Now... Usually some flies around here. I'm wondering if I'm not competing with that same person again. Nah, there's so many flies here right now that I can't possibly be competing with somebody else for them. So, another spider. Like I said, you will find lots and lots of them here. And of course, if you're doing this on your own, on a low-level character, you'll also be getting XP for them. That XP is going to come in very handy 
once we go to the next location, which is the Barrows. Although they have lowered the level of the Barrows somewhat. It used to be like 20 plus to have to even go in there. <clears throat> it is uh, much easier now. Although there are places it is still pretty challenging. And fun. Now you can just simply imagine, if we had started Freeland first before anything else, we would not be handling these so well. Because they are level 13 and 14 creatures. And we would have been like level 7 at the most. Done away all the Aragluan and Shire stuff was training for this. Lots of ruins out here. It is a fun place to explore if you like ruins. Maybe not so nice a place to explore if you don't like bugs. Okay, there are no way to avoid spiders. There are pretty much in a majority of the areas here. Okay. Here's Midgewater Marsh. Here's our next Dunedain spot. And while we're here, let's get that one up. And we have one more spot in here to find for that and we have two spots here to find okay Okay, so, back out, and moving right along, I haven't even run into a single Neeker yet, I'm kind of surprised by that. what I wanted to do at all. Want to go over there? Okay. It's a lot easier to find your mobs that you need to kill when they aggro to you. Ah, 
Oh, we finally found a Neeker. And that'll start that deed. So, we'll add that one to the tracker. And now we have everything that we currently have running up so we can see our progress. Now, the good thing about the deed accelerator scrolls now is that, say, you're in the middle of one and you need to leave the game, it will actually pause when you log out. And then when you come back in, you'll have whatever time you had left still. This is wood. Oh, we just finished Spider Slayer. This is wood ed Wood's Edge Ruin. Which was another exploration spot. And here somewhere in Wood's Edge. Uh, it's over there. So this is the obelisk we need for History of the Dunedain. The spider that we need to kill to get to it. Alright, so. Oh. Excuse me, you interrupted me. How rude. Die. You have discovered an ancient obelisk of the Dunedain among the ruins. So the only thing left we need in here other than Slayer Deeds is Goblin Hole Ruins. And that is, let me see if I can remember where that's at. You see, I've run into it at some point. So we'll go kill some stuff. That is for a quest. <clears throat> I don't think you can go into it without the quest. You can't. It doesn't even activate without it. Okay. If you can hear her, but everybody say hello to Miss Carol, who is now meow meowing at us. And you'll find quite a few Neekers around here. And they're the type of critters that will threaten first before they attack. So if you've already got enough of them, you really don't have to worry about it as long as you don't stand next to them too long. They'll leave you alone. Uh, we didn't need to kill that, but, well, we killed it. I 
I do have a bit of a poison effect, but if you're using a hunter, they already have a purge poison skill. So they could take care of that pretty easy. Like I said, there is a bunch of Neekers in this spot. And we're starting to see goblins. So. We can probably find goblin hole ruins pretty easy. Sickle fly in the S. The greater sickle flies count for the deed. They are still sickle flies. Okay. Goblin. We don't need to kill him, but we will if he bothers us. Wait a second. No, orcs are deed, not goblins. Okay. There's another sickle fly. Bunch more Neekers in here. All that for a lone sickle fly. You kill your sickle flies when you find them. Because despite them decreasing the number that you need, they're still a bit of a pain to locate. Hmm, got all the lag going on. Another fly. Another dead fly. And now we've completed Neeker and we're on to advance there. So, right off the bat, we've made like 25 Lotro points just here in Brie. Uh, now, I like killing these guys. Especially at range. Especially if you hit them once and then they drop their fire on top of themselves and try to come after you. I just think it's hilarious. I don't think their own fire does much damage to them. But it's funny to see.
fly. A couple flies around here. Some lag. Well, I saw another fly around here. There he is. Another one over here. What creature the natures are based off of? Perhaps some version of a locust? I don't want to kill the frog. Poor little frog didn't do anything to us. And here is Goblin Hole Ruins. And that is all the ruins here. So all we have left is the Slayer Deeds in this area. He threw his fire on himself. That's so funny. And these guys are part of a, a, a quest. There's a little camp of Brelanders that gives you a couple different quests. The sappers and you have to also kill some of those great sickle flies and get their wings to feed to a neeker that the guy's trying to turn into a pet. Not really the smartest idea. I don't think they care about being a pet. There's a sickle fly. Okay. I still need a few of those. Quite a few of those. Now, like I said, at this point, you would probably be wanting to hit that 
speed accelerator. But for me, I'm actually going to save that for the Barrows. Because I know he's going to be slow killing the stuff there. Or slower than he is here. And it's going to come in more use for me there than here. Because here, it doesn't take a, a lot to kill these. And there's not a lot of me you have to kill. Not even the sickle flies for all that I just complained that there's not a lot of them. Come on, get off of that. Thank you. We've got a couple sickles over here. Okay. Wow, we found quite a few sickle flies here. So we're at 8 of 40 on the sickles, 11 of 60 on the spiders, and 16 of 60 on the neekers. I don't know how many people would say that this is a pretty swamp, but it is. It's a pretty swamp. Now, I, granted, I don't know if this swamp existed before the, these places fell to ruins. I imagine they didn't because it looks like the swamp took over the ruins. Okay. Are we not going to attack him? Target not in line of sight. Oh my god, that little bit of spider web kept me from targeting him. Thank you. 
We are almost halfway on the makers. Almost halfway on the spiders. Not quite halfway on the flies. We're more like uh, about a quarter on the flies. This is definitely the area you're going to put on what, whatever music you in, in, enjoy grinding a game to and just have a good time listening to it while you play. Or listen to an audio book. Whatever you prefer to do. Maybe chat with a friend on the phone. It's also a good place to, if you really want to speed this up, to say, hey, hey buddy, uh, who plays the game with me, uh, can you give me a hand out here, or, you know, maybe ask in world chat and see if anybody's, like, wanting to do the Slayer Deeds too. But, but if you don't mind doing this stuff, like, I don't mind. It's a good way to relax. Pretty mindless. You can sit there and think of other things. You know, maybe you're have some ideas in your head for starting a business or writing a book, taking over the world, whatever. Give you time to think. We'll just ignore the fact that I killed that poor little swamp snake. Oh, well, now that's some lag. Do you see that bouncing? Ah! 
we're at 45 to 60 on those already. are almost full. Eight minutes left, huh? And that means that we've probably been doing this for close to an hour. We have some bad lag. Yeah, that's some bad lag. And the thing is, I don't know if I, I, I can blame that on the game or my connection. It could be either. So let's see. We'll get up to the road. Yes, there's a road here somewhere. We'll grab what we can while we're getting up there. We, I know we're near it now because that's a bear and that's a boar and neither of those <laughs> exist in the swamp. All right, so we're back at the road. And next time when we continue, we'll head back out there and finish up the Slayer Deeds there before we head out to the Barrow Downs. And until then, bye for now.